Hey guys, hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, happy Friday, happy Freedom Friday, fantastic Friday, fabulous Friday, whatever hashtag you want to use for this Friday. So something that keeps coming up when uh, I'm, I'm talking to either clients or I'm seeing on social media is a lot of people don't know what to post on social media, uh, namely for their network marketing business. And because the FTC has been cracking down on the language that people use, the verbiage that people use, the before and afters, the product claims, the monetary claims, all of those things. The FTC is literally watching everyone like a hawk. I thought it would be beneficial to give you guys five different types of posts that you can actually put out every single week where you're always going to be building that no like, and trust with your audience. So if you're just coming on, uh, say hi and where you're coming in from. If you're on the replay, use hashtag replay. Um, and again, you know, please tag some teammates and share this video. It's really important for you as a leader to share this information with your team because they may be feeling the same way. I, I, I may not be connected to them because when one person feels the same way, there's typically nine others that do. They're just not saying so. So... The fact is, is that there are five posts, five different kinds of posts that you guys can make every single week that will get you consistent and ongoing, organic, genuine, and authentic engagement, which will lead to growth in your business. Because here is the, the growth equation for network marketing. Leads lead to conversations, which lead to sales, which lead to business growth. So your job is to get as many qualified leads as possible. Eric Worre says it all the time. The scariest place for any network marketer to be is when they're opening their appointment book and nothing is written down. If your appointment book is full of white space, you're in trouble. And we have to fill that white space. So here are five different types of posts. These are in, in non-sequential order, but here are five posts. So you can do one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, take the weekends off. So number one, every week you should be sharing your personal transformation. Your personal transformation. Now this could be your physical transformation, your emotional transformation, your spiritual transformation, your monetary transformation. Everyone is sharing everyone else's transformation. My good friend, Deb Baker, actually shared her personal transformation for the first time in months. And she sent me a message saying it was my highest organic engaged post ever on Facebook because she shared herself. That's what people want to see. You want to know why people aren't joining your team or you're not getting engagement is because you're sharing information about people that they don't know. If you want to create more organic engagement, share more about you to your network because they know you. They don't know Tommy or Tina or whoever you're posting about. So make sure you post about yourself, your personal transformation. And that's the great thing. Since there's so many different aspects to your transformation, obviously there's your physical, there's your mental, there's your emotional, there's your spiritual, there's your monetary. You have something to share different every single week with your audience. That's how you bring them closer to you. So that's number one. Number two, your personal victory of the week. 
share a victory. What is something great that happened this week? There are victories that always happen within our businesses or within our lives. It doesn't always have to be about your network marketing business. It could be about you. Everyone is marketing to people about their business. But remember, people say yes to you. Sharing a victory that you have had in your business is going to go much further than sharing these constant business. You know, this person had an $800 week. Again, the end user, that person that's watching your posts, if they don't know that person, they're not really going to care. They're going to care most about you sharing your victory. So if that makes sense, type Y or yes in the chat box, whether you're on here live or on the replay, you can give me some thumbs, some hearts, some smiley faces, some wow faces. Again, tag some teammates, share this video with your teams. So again, if you're coming on late, number one, always share your personal transformation once a week. Number two, share your personal victory of the week. Number three, and again, this is these are posts that you can do every single week that are related to your network marketing business, but they don't necessarily mention your network marketing business. Number three, your personal lesson that you learned from the week. What was the lesson that you learned? It, it could be, uh, you know, this week I learned the power and importance of being unoffendable, or I learned the power and importance of not caring what others think. What was your biggest lesson? So now you're sharing some sort of personal lesson that you learned about yourself from that week. But second, you're adding a call to action. You're, you're adding an avenue and a way for your audience to engage back with you to share something, a, a lesson that they learned. The best businesses are built off the backs of people that are truthful, that are honest, that are value added, that are vulnerable, that are open and are transparent. Everyone is afraid to put themselves out there. You don't know how meaningful it would be to share yourself with your audience. So for those that are on here live, what's the biggest lesson that you learned this week? So let me help you with it. So let's go right to the second one. For those that are on here live or on the replay, what's your biggest victory? Type in the chat box. What is your personal biggest victory from this week? And when you're ready, share your, the biggest lesson that you learned. You know, for me, a, a continuing lesson for me is to meet people where they are. Not everybody is ready to work with me. I, owe, I meet people where they are. The greatest lesson that I've learned this week is the power of meeting people where they are. So what's your biggest victory and what's your biggest lesson from this week? If you're coming on live or on the replay, you can type it in the chat box at any point. But this is also a great people are watching. That's right. This is also a great Facebook live to share with your private teams and ask them, you know, tell them, guys, watch this Facebook live and go through the exercise that Scott's doing in this video. What are your lessons? What are your victories? Because then you can take that content and create it into engaging content. That's what it's all about. Creating engaging content. So number four, number four, share your vulnerable share from the week. What's your vulnerable share from the week? Vulnerability is one of the greatest strengths that we can all possess. It's just people are afraid to be vulnerable. You know, 
what are people going to think? What are people going to say? And Jane says, everything starts and ends with me. That's what Jane learned this week. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Jane. And Allison said that she learned that people are watching. Anthony Carter, good to see you, brother. What is something vulnerable that you want to share with your audience this week? You know, a, a vulnerable share with, with that I shared this week was, you know, my my future wife, Nancy, she converted to Judaism this past week. And I show, shared the vulnerable story of her going on this journey with me over the last six and, you know, six months becoming a woman of Jewish faith and sharing that vulnerability that again, that brings people closer to you when you share, when you share things about yourself. So I'll ask you guys, what, what's a vulnerable share for you this week? You know, what is something vulnerable that happened that you could share with your audience? Again, vulnerability, openness, transparency, all those things bring people closer to you. These are things, again, the beautiful thing about this is every week you can share your personal transformation. Every week you can share a victory. Every week you can share a lesson that you learned. Every week you can share something that you're vulnerable from that week. So every week you're engaging with your audience. And Anthony says his vulnerable share is he doesn't know everything. Beautiful. Love it, brother. So every week, and, and again, th this is all content that you have inside of you. So get away from the bait post. Y you want to build the best brand and you want to you want to build the most relatability and trust with your audience. Share yourself. Share you. That's what people come people come onto Facebook to feel part of a community. So sharing a transformation, sharing a victory, sharing a lesson, sharing a vulnerable moment. And five, the gratitude for what is in your life right now. What are you grateful for? Do a gratitude post. So I'll ask you guys, what are you guys grateful for right now? Do a brain dump, type all the things one at a time. What are all the things that you're grateful for right now? Gratitude is the best attitude. Every night before I go to bed, I, I write down what I'm grateful for. Every single night. So once a week, you can m make a post and say, I am truly grateful for X, Y, and Z. What are you guys grateful for? This is how you build that community. This is how you build the trust and the rapport and the relationships with people. I'll go back to something that Allison said. People are watching. They want to learn from you. The biggest thing that you guys need to understand, what are you truly going to do different than everybody else? If everyone is posting about their transformations and about the money that's made and about their products, if everyone's doing that, what can you do differently? What can you do differently? And Jane said she's grateful for her son, her health, her home, and her friends. Allison said she's grateful for health, family, growth on her team, being comfortable despite COVID-19, and being retired. I love that. So again, you know, Jane and, and Allison, you can take that, what you just wrote, and you can make that into a post. And just say, let's spread some love. I am so grateful for my health, my family, the growth of my business, being comfortable during COVID-19 and being retired. What are you guys all grateful for? So again, this is going to engage your audience in a truthful way, in an honest way, in a genuine and authentic way, which again is going to build that no like, and trust. And again, these five things, you can rotate them every single week. Why do you guys think I start every morning off with positivity and I, 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 end every night with a say it with me before you go to bed. I do affirmations every, so that's, but that's how you build that no like, and trust you show up for people. So again, 
the five posts. So you can do one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is five pieces of content that you can create. Share your personal transformation. That could be physical, financial, business, emotional, spiritual. Your personal victory of the week. Share a lesson that you learned from the week. Share something vulnerable from the week. And finally, share your gratitude for the week. What, what are you grateful for? So all these, and you can do this in a post. You can do this in a Facebook Live. You can do it any which way you want. But most importantly, I encourage you guys to share this Facebook Live with, with someone, one person, a group, people that are struggling. What do I post? I see everyone doing the same thing. These are five pieces of content that you guys can create every single week. So guys, if you're coming on the replay, remember use hashtag replay. Love and gratitude for each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.